Welcome to the next session of the subject engineering graphics. You can go to the description below to see all the related videos of the subject engineering graphics. Problem statement is draw sectional front view along xx, top view and right hand side view of the object shown in figure. Use first angle method of projection. The direction of observer is given with this arrow. Along this direction we have to look in front. Let us first of all decide the dimensions of this object, overall dimensions. So we can first decide length of the object, this overall length of the object, how much it is we can see from this center of this semi-cylinder and to the center of this circular hole, this distance is given as 60 and from here you can see the radius of this part is given as 17. So this 60 plus 17 that is 77 and from here we have to take the radius of this particular semi-cylinder okay and as we see radius of the cylinder is given as 30 so from here up to the end 77 and from here to the extreme left end plus 30 so total length of the object is 107 okay as we see height of the object height of the object this part is at the bottom so maximum the topmost point is this one and we can see from bottom to, to the top this distance is radius 30 so height is of course 30 mm and width of the object is directly given as we see it is 50 okay so first step is to draw x y then x1 y1 keep distance 20 above and below x y and construct rectangle for front view and rectangle for top view okay so we have to first construct this rectangle initially of length 107 and height 30 mm then from here we have to start constructing this rectangle of which length is already 107 so draw these two vertical projectors okay and from here measure 50 mm because width of the object is 50 and draw this particular rectangle okay let us start constructing front view as we have to draw sectional front view along xx initially we will think that object is not cut and we will draw its normal front view okay so how to start and from where to construct we can start from this point so from the left end measure 30 mm because radius is 30 so this point to the center of the semi cylinder distance is 30 so from here measure 30 mm okay then draw one vertical center line here through this point which should extend to the top view also then with this center the center is already located draw one semi circle remember this semi circle initially should be thin because in this much part there is no circle to be drawn okay so with this center and radius equal to 30 draw this semi circle now from this center we have to go 60 mm to the right as we see this distance is 60 mm so from this center line measure 60 mm to the right and draw this center line and again extend it to the top view okay so once we extend it to the top view as we know as per convention the circular objects or the circles or holes are to be first of all shown in that view where they are seen to their true shapes so as far as this hole is concerned we need to locate it in top view first so from here extend this center line then as we have already taken this distance as 50 draw the horizontal center line for this top view which is at a distance 25 from this end draw this horizontal center line we have already drawn this vertical center line so with this center we have to draw this circle of radius equal to 8 or diameter equal to 16 okay so draw this circle let us see how to arrive at this point because to the left of this we have to show this semicircle as thick and below this there is no edge existing as we see here below this part there is this cylinder this particular part okay so how to arrive at this particular point for that from the right end uh, from this bottom most point measure 16 above because as we see thickness of this part is 16 so from this bottom most point go 16 mm above and draw one horizontal line okay we already drawn this semicircle so wherever these two intersect this is the required point okay so we have now arrived at this particular point i hope you understood this i again repeat from bottom major 16 up okay then draw one horizontal line so this is that horizontal line this semicircle is already drawn wherever this horizontal line and this semicircle intersect we have to arrive at this particular point and as we see here from this point measure 20 to the right from here measure 20 mm to the right okay and then 
as this is that point from here measure 20 to the right and then with from this point draw this line which touches this semi cylinder tangentially okay this is a rib and rib touches this semi cylindrical part tangentially okay so from this point draw a tangent and wherever it touches this cylinder now we have to project this point now you can see it touches tangentially at this point this is a very important point we have to project this point in top view okay so draw a projector and now thickness of this rib is 10 mm okay we have already drawn this horizontal center line so 5 mm above 5 mm below and we have already projected this particular point okay so from project this point in top view and just on either side we have to take distance phi each and then construct this rectangle but remember whenever rib touches tangentially we do not show it by a rectangular part whenever it touches tangentially as i told you first we project this point below okay and after that we have to extend this rib up to that part along straight line and after that we have to just make it slightly curved this indicates that the rib touches this semi cylindrical part tangentially i hope you understood the convention whenever rib touches any part tangentially okay so this is the way i have drawn this rib now this part we have to show in top view okay we already drawn it in front view so this part has radius equal to 17 mm so with this center draw a semi circle of radius 17 and simply extend that to the left up to here you know that semi cylindrical part touches here so we have to project this point and extend it up to in top view and this is the way this rectangular part is completed so this way we have completed this front view and top view of the object now we have to think of sectional front view because the statement is we have to draw sectional front view so as as per convention wherever material is cut we have to show section lines and you already know section lines are the lines which are drawn at 45 degree having equal distance between them so that distance generally we keep 1 to 2 mm so we can keep 2 mm distance between the lines and draw those lines at 45 degree now here as we see whenever i cut this object along this particular section plane this rib is cut uh, longitudinally okay and whenever rib is cut longitudinally we do not hatch it that's why excluding this part of the rib we have to show this part with hatching okay and of course there is hole here so within the hole part there is no material that's why except hole we have to show remaining part with hatching lines i hope you understood the sectional front view and top view is a normal orthographic view because whenever we need to draw only sectional front view top view we always draw and even other view also draw with normal orthographic projections okay to draw right hand side view draw horizontal projectors from all the key points of the front view so these are all key points even we have to project this tangential point this topmost point then draw horizontal projectors from all the key points from top view so these are the key points this rib then this point this outermost point and of course the edges of the hole these two and up after x1 y1 with this center and these radii this center this radius this center this radius this center this radius we have to draw these arcs and just draw them vertically okay so within these two extreme projectors and these two extreme projectors we have to draw right hand side view so when we look from right as we see first of all we will get this semi cylinder as a rectangle okay so within these two projectors we have to simply draw this whole rectangle because this semi cylinder will be seen as rectangle okay now this particular part this is another semi cylindrical part and when you look it from right this will also be seen as rectangle okay so within this projector and this projector and as we we can see within this projector and this projector we need to draw that another rectangle okay now we have to draw this hole and this rib okay this hole this hole is in this particular thickness 16 mm thickness okay so within these two projectors and as we see here this projector and this one projector okay so after tracing these two projectors and as we see this hole will not be visible when you look look it from right when you look from right the hole will not be visible and that's why we have to show it by dotted line now as far as rib is concerned rib starts from here okay rib starts from this point so from here we have to go up and of 
thickness 10 mm so 5 mm on left and right side draw these two lines and again as rib touches here tangentially we have to think of this point this is a very important point so just project this point in this view and we have to extend these straight lines up to that line and after that we have to make it slightly curved okay it means again that the rib touches here tangentially i hope you understood this and only thing remaining is of this particular slot this slot when you look from right this surface which goes through will not be visible and for that surface we have to show this dotted line okay so this dotted line is for this particular surface which is not visible when you look it from right i hope you understood the projections last step is to name the views and dimension them so we can see here this is sectional front view along xx again whenever it is sectional front view or any sectional view we have to show convention of the cutting plane so here xx is the cutting plane so it is a center line with end dashes thick these end dashes are thick and we have to name the plane as xx in front view we have to name it as sectional front view along xx then here right hand side view and the dimensioning of the views using any one method like aligned or unidirectional method i have done this by using unidirectional method thanks for watching and your patient viewing